Car ownership is getting more expensive due to rising repair costs. Your eyes aren't fooling you. Your car repair bill is getting more expensive. Heavier, more complex vehicles, new materials and manufacturing methods, lack of talented technicians, and supply shortages. Customers definitely are getting sticker shock. Repair costs are rising relative to the overall rate of inflation. Repair costs increased at an annual rate of somewhere around 3.5% to 5%, which makes software for the collision repair and auto insurance sectors. But now, the rate jumped to about 10% and hasn't dropped since. I think the thing that we can say that the cost of collision insurance claims are increasing. Vehicles could be more expensive to repair. Crashes could also be more severe. Cars are 33% heavier now than they were in 1985 and about twice as powerful, according to HLDI. Meanwhile, speeding and traffic crashes have increased. Heavier vehicles colliding at higher speeds means worse crashes. Cars are also stuffed with more stuff, so more can go wrong. Nearly 20% have turbochargers attached to engines, which squeezes more power out and improves efficiency. Two-thirds have all-wheel drive systems, a huge jump over the 10% in the 1980s. All these tweaks add equipment that can break. Lightweight materials such as aluminum are increasingly popular but can be brittle and require replacement. Cars have fewer parts thanks to new manufacturing methods, but the ones they have are huge and more costly to replace. Your average regular car now is basically a rolling network of computers. The computerization of cars has been slowly developing for decades, but it changed dramatically in the last decade. You can have the same kind of accident that you would have 10 years ago, but now you have three additional sensors that are on the part of the vehicle that was impacted that you now have to potentially replace. In 2019, the average labor rate for repairs was under $50 an hour in the U.S. At the end of 2023, it was close to $60. Most of those increases came in 2022 and 2023. As people drove less during the COVID years, demand for repairs dried up. Technicians left the industry in search of other work. Shipping disruptions contributed to the increase. The cost of parts sourced from automakers rose 10% and aftermarket parts rose 17% compared with the usual annual inflation rate of 0% to 4%. Many in the auto space think costs can't continue to rise at these rates. The industry is making its biggest shifts in the last hundred years, from gasoline to electric, and from mechanical to digital. If cars are to be affordable, they must also be affordable to maintain, and they must be affordable to repair, or else we're going to have fewer vehicle sales. So I think the automakers are going to be motivated to drive those costs down. Thank you kindly for your attention. Have a nice day.